Dr. Steve Mantia was speaking on the sidelines of the launch of political parties' policy positions on the country's oil and gas resource in Accra. The problem with GMPs has to do with excessive governmental control. Okay? The situation where we put DMPC on the national budget, feeding it like a baby, which never grows, must cease. Let the DMPC go and fend for itself. The problem with Tamoya refinery for me is inefficiencies that arise from treating Tamoya refinery as a dumping ground for party food soldiers, adding to the operational cost of Tamoya refinery. If we are to float Tamoya refinery on the stock exchange, that individual Ghanaians can own it, there's a way in which we can introduce accountability in the way it operates. He argues the process where political parties state their policy positions on the management of the oil and gas resources will further deepen the country's democracy and electoral process. It's crucial because if the various interest groups work in the various sectors of the national economy, will provide such platform for a debate on what policies the parties have on each of the sectors, it will help to take out the political tension and the trivialities that often characterize party campaigning. You see that the questions cut across from upstream exploratory activities to issues about transparency, accountability, to how the revenues that are derived from extracting the oil are used for the benefit or otherwise of the people. Dr. Mantillo agrees with calls for the Minister of Finance to come out on the amount accruing from the Tema Oil Refinery debt levy. We lack transparency in the way public resources are managed on our behalf. Um, we have a similar situation with the ECG, government's indebtedness. Government has not shown any roadmap to making, um, um, redeeming its indebtedness to ECG and yet putting it on what? Privatization. At the same time, offloading what I see as the indebtedness of the, uh, ECG on ordinary Ghanaians through the energy sector levy. This is fraud on the, uh, being perpetrated on Ghanaians.